All right, folks, it's been one of those days. It's going on 7.30 p.m. I'm about half done with this field. Uh, it may or may not look like it to you, but I'm, I'm well over half done. Remember as many rounds as you see here, and I go in a circle. As many rounds as you see here is on the other side as well. Well, I hate to break it to you. I'm out of seed. My calculations were correct, but uh, uh, planting volume, I don't even have the words. Planting volume dial on this grain drill is all cattywampus. It was last year too found that out the hard way when I put that sorghum in I ended up having to throw in what another seven eight bags it's awful it gets a little pricey well that big magical uh, treasure chest of uh, gold does not exist so I was not able to put a brand new 13 foot John Deere or Great Plains grain drill on the farm this year but boy that sounds good and I failed in uh, really doing anything for uh, calibration on this one. I was going to take the route of uh, doing my best by eye, by sight, by gosh or by damn, however that's said. Anyway, okay, we're not going to cry the blues. Four bags and I'll have this licked tomorrow. Let's first take a look at the sorghum seed that I'm planting. Folks, this is not the primary sorghum field, okay? Um, if you didn't catch the last video, what this is, this was a mind changer right here. I was going to put corn in here. I can't do it. Um, <clears throat> check the last video. I'll explain it to you. I make a real butthead out of myself. So I decided to go ahead and put sorghum in here. This sorghum here is intended to be chopped and thrown in the silo. Uh, I'm a believer in Alpharex seeds. Alpharex seeds is part of ag, excuse me, Dow AgriSciences. This is not that highfalutin hybrid BMR. What this is, is this is Alpharex seeds Sweet King brand. It's a hybrid sorghum sedan. Uh, I'm not going to pretend I know what I'm talking about here, but pure seed of 98.95%. Uh, origin, Texas. Most of your sorghum seed does come out of Texas. Anyway. Wish I had four more bags. Day didn't start off very good. I broke the planter. This housing right here, what you're seeing here, is new. I had the local uh, the local fabricator man fabricate that up for me. Very lucky to have him. He can do just about. He can do anything. Um, long story short, I pulled this thing out of the garage, started tinkering with it, getting the cobwebs out of it, spraying the hoses. The, the, the seed hoses down and everything making sure there was no nests in there and all that sort of stuff and I went to put a little bit of pressure on the cylinder to uh, get a little loosey-goosey on here so I could unhook this guy that keeps it in the up position couldn't tell you what happened I didn't think I was moving it but I did move it and it broke that housing that housing, now there's a sorry excuse, that housing's been worked on probably six or seven times. A lot of weld gunk on there. And uh, anyway, it was a done deal. Bolt broke my heart. Uh, what are you going to do? Ran it over immediately, and this it was in about six pieces, to the fabricator, who I'm lucky to have. And uh, it was no more than about three hours later, he had that piece done up. Fit like a glove. It's all back together. And here we go.
So that started at about 11 o'clock this morning. So I knew I had some time and there's not time just to sit and wait. So I hooked up to the disc and I went about four or five miles from here from some lease property to disc and it's too wet. Uh, got back a little bit early before chore time, picked up that piece, put it together and here we go. Okay, enough about that piece of equipment. Uh, this is the International 510. Uh, it is a 10 foot width. Uh, some of you might be rolling your eyes just a little bit. I don't need any more than this. Uh, small grains and even sorghum is very minimal. Um, someday, yeah, maybe I'd like to have a 13 footer, but right now it's, there's a lot more that come before it. What I do need to do is do some calibration and fix these settings because they are off. I did my best to guesstimate percentage with the uh, openers, I was deadly off. Um, my intentions are this, 35 pounds to the acre. I can promise you I'm putting down 45 plus. <clears throat> Not intentionally, but uh, I'd rather put it down heavy than light. Understand, we're talking about sorghum here. In the grand scheme of things, sorghum seed is cheap. In the grand scheme of things, it's still a cost. It does add up. But uh, when it all comes down to it, it is a cheap feed source to put in the ground. Notice I said put in the ground. Harvesting it in one form or another, that can get a little pricey. Especially on this venture, which what I want to do, of course, is chop it and put it in the silo. Now I gave some uh, scenarios on the last video of uh, needing some advice. The one thing I left out there folks that's highly important for any advice being given of what I should really do at what height is the custom chopping fee is tremendous and it should be. Look at that equipment that has to do this. I'm not bucking the price. It's just I need the best bang for my dollar. Um, so cutting this at a five foot height, that's not happening. I want a little more girth than that before it's chopped and I pay that bill. Cause I'm gonna pay that bill regardless of it's five feet or if it's eight or nine feet. Cause I'm the one that's cutting it down. They're just coming in here to chop it. So let's talk about fertilizer. Uh, after last year and what I seen and the small education that I've gained and I got a ways to go yet, I do not see any need to put down a second crop, I'm going to call it a separate, second crop fertilizer. I have no intentions of doing that this year. What I am going to do though is 200 pounds, 200 pounds to the acre before planting. Um, on this stuff here I put down a uh, your household common triple 19. I used that last year. You've seen last year's outcome. I'm going to try and follow that. Lack of better words. Now, the truth of the matter is I put more than 200 pounds of the acre down here, folks. Um, well, that's a sharp pickup. This is eight acres. 200 pounds of the acre is obviously 1,600 pounds. I'm not going to have the feed mill mix me up a buggy of triple 19 of 1600 pounds. I'm not going to do it. Would they do it? Yeah, they would. I made an even ton and uh, overlapped here and there and uh, it, it turned out real good. It turned out okay. So, yeah, a little bit of sorry news here. Uh, out of seed. I have nothing more to do than uh, I already unhooked from the Culty Packer. And uh, I need to raise this up and I need to bring it home and get it under the shed. Even though we don't have rain coming, uh, we have never, ever, ever left that outside ever and don't ever intend on doing so. Uh, I'm not the most thrilled with the way this field worked up. I mean, it's not bad. Understand, and I think I failed to mention why this sod, you know, this was a hay field last year. It was a hay field the last nine years. I didn't spray it and kill it. The reason being, folks, and if you don't know this, it's okay. Reason being is 
because I had full intentions of putting corn in here. Therefore, I didn't kill off this hay, this sod, because what it does is it acts as green manure, and there is a fertilizer, a significant fertilizer value to it. Well, change of a mind, change of plans. Um, yeah, that, uh, that sod doesn't work up very good. It was dissed twice, understand that. And then, of course, culti mulch. Culti mulcher hates sod. But uh, it's not too terribly bad. I I'm not trying to win any uh, awards here for looks. I, I could give a damn about that. I, I, I think I proved that by uh, going in front of the camera. I really couldn't care. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're going to do it, you want a nice, clean job. I'd like to see it better, but it's not too bad. So... I really don't know what else to say, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's what I got left. And that's, that's too close to call. I'm shutting it down right here. Hold on here, folks. So, uh, what's on the agenda tomorrow? First thing I'm gonna do is go pick up seed and fill up this planter. Depending on tomorrow morning's moisture, I might go right back after this and finish this. Or the only other thing that I can do right now, because those other two fields are extremely wet yet, they need another day and a half, is I'm probably gonna go across the highway and continue to chisel plow um, this year's primary sorghum field. So, yeah. So we'll go through the numbers here again. My intentions are 35 pounds to the acre. This is being chopped for silage to be thrown up in the silo. I put down 200 plus acres of triple 19 before planting. I do not plan on putting any more fertilizer down for a second crop. Understand what I was talking about when I said about that custom fee that I have to pay. What is my best bane for my dollar? I can tell you right now, I'm not cutting this at five feet, even though it's going to be a healthy amount of feed. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong by saying seven, eight feet. I don't know. Beautiful day today. Pure sun all day long. Pure sun. But uh, there she is, folks. I got to get rolling here. I've had a long day. I got some things I got to take care of this evening yet and uh, get prepared for tomorrow. So thanks for sticking with me and uh, stay tuned for some uh, little bit better, healthier videos to come this weekend, folks. And uh, we're going to talk to you sooner or later.